Hey all, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. You know me, I'm your host Jordan Preston. When we come back, we're going to take a look at a figure from the guys over at Jack's Pacific that is sure to make a colossal difference in your Batman collection. <laughs> Respect the monkey! All right, guys, and keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, there he is. Did I not tell you a colossal difference in your Batman collection? This is the Big Fig's four foot tall classic Batman figure. This is amazing. Big Fig's never ceases to amaze me with what they do with their Big Fig's. They got, they got a small little a small little niche that they do with DC licensing, and that is those big figs, which are 18 inches, 32, 31 inches, and then now four feet. They did it with Star Wars, now they're doing it with DC. I love it. This Batman is all kinds of awesome. Let's take a look at what the box looks like on the bottom. What this guy doesn't have in articulation, he makes up totally for in awesomeness. Just the pure presence of his size. He's four feet tall. He's a little higher now because I have him on a box and on a Lazy Susan turntable. But still, at four feet, he comes up to about my chest level. If I let him off the box, he'll come up to about here on me. This guy is huge. Let's see, he has this much articulation on his head, moves about that much. That's it, no up and down movement. Uh, the arms go total rotation. You can go 360 on the arms. No waist movement at all. No waist at all, no ab crunch, no leg movements, no foot movements at all. Nothing. Just coolness. Now, let's look at the light up feature on his chest. The camera should be able to pick it up, you can see it. You just press it in, like so, and you should be able to see that if it lights up. He takes three AAA batteries, those little skinny ones, takes three of those, go right in his pack over here. This turns it off and on, easy switches. They give you a little direction on his wrist on how to turn the lights off and on. And I still haven't figured out that projector method yet. We're supposed to just turn this on and leave it on and project up on the wall at nighttime or in a dark room. But that's such a cool feature. The emblem looks good. I could have done without this and even with just a regular chest with a regular emblem on him would have looked awesome just because of his sheer size. As we turn him around, we see that nice cape. This is like a pure, like a, a slight light felt on his cape. But they did a nice job, Jax did, of marrying the color of his cape. I got a little smudge on him from lifting him up. I put that on there, it didn't come with him. Uh, a nice job of marrying the color scheme of his cape with his plastic of the cowl. That's a nice blue. If you squinted, that blue looks almost like the same color, same value. That's pretty good. I like that. They have a lot of air holes in him from the molding process. You see a lot of holes from the molding process. His wrist swivel, 360, one fist and one open hand, and that's it. Once again, no swivel on the feet at all like that. This is based on the classic 1970s Neil Adams style of Batman in the comic books, and this is very great. Nice sculpting of the physique, of the musculature. I like the little uh, tension they have in the tights. They gave you like a fabric tension in the tights pulling around him. Nice, nice, nice. Little seam line in the glove and those stitching seam lines on the fingers of the gloves. Very good, and that face, they gave you the white uh, oblique eyes, very nice, opaque eyes, very good. Skin tone is just a basic uh, skin paint. No shadowing or washing or anything on this guy, but he looks very, very nice the way he is. The ears have a little bit of implant look where they put it in from the molding, but that's okay. Let's take another 360 of this guy. The cape drapes beautifully on him, very nice. It's not a scalloped cape. Well, it is, but it's not deeply scalloped. It's slightly scalloped. The cape is very nice, like that. And it drapes really good right in the back, like that. I also wanted to mention that Batman's gauntlets are rubber. They bend, so it won't hurt the kitties at all. If you have children around you, it's very, very rubbery, bendy material, so it's not sharp. Even though it looks sharp, it's not at all. 
This guy is really all sorts of awesomeness. I can't tell you how cool he is to have a four-foot Batman in your collection. Now, is he a necessity in your collection? No. If you're a guy that collects true, very museum-like quality statues and hot toy type of figures in your Batman collection, and that's usually what you only have, then he might be a little bit on the goofy side for you to have in your collection. Might throw it off a tad bit. But... If you're a person that collects all types of things Batman and you love all things Funko Pop, Hot Toys, Mattel, you name it, DC Direct, DC, if you like that type of stuff, this guy is a must have because when you walk into your, your, your collection room and you see a guy like this leaning up against your Batman wall, it's a conversation starter. Uh, you can find this guy at Toys R Us. Uh, that's usually where I think I, where he's, where he's sold at. No, not mom and pop stores, not Target or any Walmart or anything like that. He runs about anywhere from $79 to $100. They, Big Figs did Star Wars about two years ago, Darth Vader and Stormtroopers, and they ran $99 to $100. And I think that was because of the licensing agreement they had with, with, uh, Disney to do that. But, uh, these guys, I think he runs at $79 at Toys R Us, period. Uh, I got him around Christmas time. 2016. It was 79 bucks. Really a nice purchase. This guy looks fantastic inside your room. Light up chest. I love it. And where are you going to find a four, four foot Batman? Ha <laughs> ha, you won't. So yeah, should you get them? Definitely. Must have. Good price. Great likeness of the Neil Adams Batman. So there you go. Write down below and let me know. Do you like this? Do you think I'm being a big, big kid by liking something as crazy as a four-foot plastic Batman with minimal articulation? Or do you agree with me that he's just an awesome thing to have and a unique piece to have in a Batman collection standing up against your collection? I'd love that. Write down below let me know because you know I'll get back to you. And... Right up, check us out on Pinterest, Facebook, because we have different things on there than we do on the Gifted Monkey Show. And please, guys, click the like button and the subscribe button because we need your support. We're going up to 2,000 uh, subscribers, and you guys have been awesome. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And remember, playing with toys and action figures, even a four-foot colossal, big figs, classic Neil Adams-style Batman from Jack Pacific can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.